Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And to celebrate LBX month once again, while using that hashtag LBX February, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the LBX Nightmare. Now this is a really, really cool mobile suit. I love the kind of trickery that this thing does when it duplicates itself. In the game, it was actually a pain in the ass to deal with. And in the anime, it was just as much of a pain in the ass to deal with. But this thing is amazing and it's a reissue, so thank God. Uh, but we're gonna be taking a look at what comes inside the box. Now don't forget if you want to pick up this or many other LBX kits, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code Krosama, so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. So to just comment on the front cover art, I mean this kit came out in a, what, about 2011 and the front cover art looks amazing. It, you know, obviously you see that it has multiple kind of mirages or duplicates of itself. Uh, but I believe in a tournament, he actually cheated and he had three real uh, nightmare suits. But I think it's also a, a gimmick. If it's not a gimmick, it's like a, maybe a special attack of uh, trickery or something like that. But to my knowledge, he actually cheated and used three nightmares uh, within the tournament. So with the front and rear shot, there's a lot of things you can take away with this. One, it looks like it's going to be coming with a stand, uh, because it doesn't say anything like stand not included, so should come with a stand. And it also has the paper cape, which sucks, but it is what it is. Now it's also going to have the core box, which is definitely going to be a sticker. And the headdress itself actually looks really good, so pretty excited to you know build that because it, I just think the headdress looks really amazing. And you're also going to have the staff, where I guess the spear weapon, but it's pretty much like a staff, uh, but it's the Battle Dream. And here it is doing the special attack Dark Helix. Some information on the kit. And here's going to be information on basically the construction of the kit, and they really do promote the no tools required, and honestly, that is very true. You can just push all the parts out and basically just get straight to sanding. Now at Hobby Lobby, I actually paid 13 bucks for this, and that's going to be the general retail for this kit. Now for runners, we are going to have runner C, and it's going to have various parts all over. So you got parts for the head, the arm, uh, it's going to be for the body, the legs, and then the weapon. But it looks good. The yellow, orange kind of color, the like cheddar cheese, I hate to use that phrase, but I mean, it kind of looks like it. I don't really care for it, to be honest. Um, it's not really the best color. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have paints, so I cannot repaint it, but if I did have my paints, probably would just go straight yellow. Uh, I don't know, like, I just really love vibrant yellow, so that would probably be the route I would go. And who knows, maybe when I do get back, I decide to go ahead and just, you know, do a quick paint job on this. Next going to have is Runner B, so this is just going to be a bunch of black parts. Uh, you are going to have, I'm seeing some little panels right here, uh, which I think is for the headdress. Looks good though, uh, nothing else is really gonna have any panels. It's all smooth parts, but yeah, it looks like a really good black color. And next is gonna be runner A, so once again, various parts all over, parts for the head, uh, parts for the legs, and arms, body, as well as weapons. So you're gonna have a lot of clear parts. This should be the stand. Yeah, this is the stand right here. You got parts that are just for the little spear. And yeah, just a bunch of white parts. We got some red down here, and you're gonna have this eh, not so good looking, what would you call this? Like a gray blue? It's like a grayish color, but kind of like it has a blue tint to it. Eh, not really feeling it, but man, I really, really, really wanna paint this up. And the more I look at it, the more it irritates me that I'm not in my studio. So kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And lastly, we're just gonna have this little polycap sheet. And you're also going to have a large sticker sheet, so you got the core block right here. All this, I really wish I had my paints with me, so that way I can just paint it all. But it's it's a lot, but it's not a lot at the same time. So we'll see how it looks. I'm hoping that it's not going to be super ugly, but if it is, yeah, I might have to resort to painting it in the future. Now for the manual, nothing special here. You're just going to get glimpses of the same thing that we have already seen. And if you open it up, it kind of just tells you, hey, you know, build it with your hands. Don't have to use anything else crazy. And you're going to have the cape right here, which I'm going to have to get a pair of scissors and cut that out because I don't have a pair of scissors. And I don't want to use a knife on the hotel uh, desk. But yeah, the construction is going to be super easy with this kit. 
And with every passing moment, I become more anxious to build this. Now you're also gonna have some more of a lineup here, but it looks great. I mean, everything about this looks phenomenal. So I'm pretty stoked to go ahead and see how it's gonna uh, hold up. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold up extremely well uh, with the rest of the LBX line. And uh, I do wanna grab the Finir and I will be getting the uh, Hyperfunction Nemesis. The Destroyer Z, not really on my top list, but eventually I will be picking that one up as well. But hey, that's pretty much it for me. Oh, one key thing is that you can actually just you know do some customization if you really want to. Personally, I'm not into that. Yes, it's a lot like Metabots, but I'm not into that as well, even with Metabots. I like to keep my stuff as canon as possible. But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. And remember, go on social media, use that hashtag LBXFebruary, so that way I can see all of your posts. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.